as the Americans as well. So it just uh, keeps you up to speed with uh, a few little fast facts from Finland. Here's the order of play. Malaysia 2-0 to good in the overall tie with wins in mixed doubles and men's singles. Hu and Che with a win over Ellison Smith. Quite an upset there, but uh, Li Zhizha with a win convincingly over Johnny Tulliusen, although a very competitive second game and encouraging for the uh, England uh, player, the English player. Next up, it's men's doubles. Aaron Chia and Su Wu Yik, world number eight, take on Ben Lane and Sean Vendy who really have to win this to keep the tie afloat for the uh, English team. So the Finns regard their country as the home of Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas, and he lives in the northern region of Lapland. It's a wonderful centre, this. Only 30 minutes to get to uh, Helsinki city centre. Doing this all over again today at 4 pm local time with a ses second session of action as well. Uh, court officials are in place. And this uh, Energia Arena, the home of the Finnish men's and women's national basketball teams and men's floorball team as well. At the Mirmaki Sports Park. Vanta. Players have left their holding place. They are on their way, I'm told, marching towards the court. So, first in, the Malaysians, Aaron Chia and So Wu Yik, 23 and 22 year old. Followed by Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. So a must winner for the English team here. If they want to win this overall tie in the race to three, of course, they're love two down. Head to head again, first meeting. So we don't know what we're going to get, but we do know that the English team are very much improved, but they'll be up against it today because uh, the Malaysians are recent bronze medalists from Tokyo Olympic Games. Aaron Chia to serve to Sean Vendy. Aaron Chia in blue at the back of your picture there, the 24-year-old from Malacca. Playing off that ranking of uh, career high ranking indeed of eighth in the world. And alongside him is 23-year-old partner Su Wu Yik from the Malaysian capital. So as I say, playing off the career high ranking, they uh, upset Hendra Setiwan and Mohamed Assam in the bronze medal playoff at uh, the recent Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. And they're the main stars other than the skipper, Li Zhi Zha, as we take a look at Ben Lane, 24 year old from Kingston. One metre 75 tall, currently resides in Milton Keynes. And Sean Vendy, who was born in Kirkwall in Scotland originally. Slightly taller, one metre 81, is the 25 year old Sean Vendy. So they're ranked 19th in the world, but have been as high as 18, so just one spot off of the career high. And uh, while well, all tattooed up and full of intent is Sean. Let's say hello to Timu Varonen, Finnish umpire. 
Cody Leach, familiar American face, who's already been in the hot seat today in the opening mixed doubles from the States, is Cody. But the English duo, together they've matured a lot in their outlook and have posted some really good results over the last couple of years to uh, elevate their ranking considerably. And many feel they're a team with great promise, and I'm one of those. Today, a big opportunity to realise that talent. They're playing up against the world number eight. And it's always going to be tough. We don't know what we're going to uh, anticipate because it's the first meeting between these two teams. But the all four players look poised and ready for the action to unfold. So, as I say, must win match for these two in red if they're to extend their stay here in this tie. Being two love down in it, in this race to three. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Malaysia, representing by Arjia, Song Wan Ye. And on my left, England, represented by Ben Lane, Sean Wendy. Malaysia to serve, Arjia to Sean Wendy, Love All, Play. Three, two. Malaysians confident from that bronze medal recently from Tokyo, building on that nicely at the early stages here, seemingly. Ben Lane, Sean Vendy, well, they were uh, quarter finalists at the European Championships as well, and won the Orion Masters five weeks or so before the European Champs. Denied a match win at the Yonex All England Open this year, these two. But other good showings, semi finals at the HSBC BWF World Tour finals in Thailand and quarter finals at the Toyota Thailand Open as well. There's a round of 16 at the Yonex Thailand Open. First point on the board, or second point I should say for Lane and Vendy, starting to settle.
lucky break off the net for the Malaysians. of each other team's opposite side of the net, but the Malaysians have done so a little quicker at the moment. The Wonderful from Aaron Chia. Really nice. Just dropped like a stone, didn't it? So richly talented. Look at that. Took all the pace out. Beautifully taken. Full of consecutive points, then going to the Malaysians. Too greedy there, wasn't he? Consistent with the straight smash and the back behind from where it had come. Really clever. Nibbling away at the deficit on the scoreboard, but it's a tough ask at the moment. Malaysia's looking very good from the start. So a five-point cushion then in favour of the Malaysians, Aaron Chia and Su Wu Yik. 11 points to six to the turn they head after seven minutes of action out here on two. Yonex Swiss Open as well. Runners up at the 
Victoria to Thailand Open at the top of the year. Quarter finalists at the Yonex All England Open as well. So they've been putting together some really good showings, the Malaysians, hence the heady ranking of eighth in the world. And they're playing really commanding badminton right now. However, it's still really early days. But Chia, the fellow now making his way to the net, he's a really good uh, front court player, very dominant at the net, strong in net interceptions. He is lightning quick. He's their danger man around the net, the playmaker. Yeah, there he is again. Julian Robertson, the English coach, taking plenty of notes. Just aren't finding their A game quite yet, are they, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy? It's been a tough watch for English fans because Malaysia's really wheel spun out of the start line, but there's still wriggle room. And he'll be hoping that his charges can make a turnaround as he barks out some instructions to Sean Vendy. passed on to his compatriot and wingman. steely blue eyes of Lauren Davis, <laughs> Lauren Smith, beg your pardon. Lost the mixed doubles first out. Fairly tight mixed doubles it was as well. Oh! Su Wu Yik did so well to neutralise and pull that point out of the fire defensively. Only <laughs> first partner to go for the glamour finish and fluff it. 14 points all. Look at this. He worked so hard here. Watch. Full length dive. Great job there. Come on, partner. Where are you? <laughs> so deadlock in the opening stages here. Three consecutive English points. Can they build more? That's gone, I thought, but the lines judge had his palms down, so hold on a second. Challenge situation, up we go to have this check. The English were adamant that it was out. Sean Wendy challenge. Just as well he did so. Eagle-eyed Sean Bendy, good job. Oh, 
So it's been a big comeback from the English. They were 13-8 down in this game. All the back to parity, then broke to the front momentarily. Oh, terrific defence from Ben Lane there. Pleased with himself, and so he should be. Very diligent, very strong in defence to turn that one around. Yeah, too much on that from Aaron Chiap. Right into the right armpit of Sean Vendy. Couldn't have hit it any more precisely. Well done. Very strong from Ben Laney. Ben Lane at the front of the court there really did well. Dynamic, positive, hunting the shuttle. Look at this, keeping his racket head up all the time here and did really well to find a little slender slither of court to hit into. Deadlock again in this very tight opening game there. Oh, he's lightning, isn't he? Sukamolio like with that reflex. Otherworldly. Good body jammer from Ben Lane. The only left hander on court doing a good job there. Got enough purchase on this, right into the body of Su Wu Yik. Oh yes! Sean Vendy's at it as well. Terrific, very alert. All out assault from the English. Well, one of the game points denied by some brilliance from the Malaysian duo. But still Lane and Vendy. And a second game point opportunity, just taking their time here. Oh, a break off the net.
but uh, Ben Lane just wants the uh, court swept around where he was stirred. He senses he obviously slipped a little there. Some beads of perspiration on the court, and now they're removed, and those laces will be done very tight, I'm sure. Another man who double knots. Deadlock in this tight opening game. Two game points have slipped through the fingertips of Lane and Vendy. Three points in a row for the Malaysians. Now they have a game point. They hold their serve and their nerve. A terrific turnaround from Chia. And his partner Su Yik. The Malaysians snatch the opening game 22 points to 20. Surviving a couple of game points against them. A really good turnaround from Chia and Su in that opener. A 20 minute game that they somehow wrestle their way. The bronze medalists of Tokyo in the men's doubles looking good here. A game to the good, halfway home for Chian So of Malaysia. Tight return of serve from Ben Lane there. He's managed to get it dipping beneath the tape. through the corridor of confusion, the middle of the court there from Su Yik, accurately dispatched.
Nice change up from the attack lines there from Sean Vendy. Mixing it up nicely. point from Sean Vendy again, just uber alert. Consistent. Men's doubles on display here on court two. Really intriguing, mesmerizing watch. High quality affair. Just trying to recover, but it was just red line straight back at him. This is a great dig, full left dive, but uh, straight back at him. Could do nothing. And Chia with a very high quality point. Lots of encouragement from the English coach. Down in the overall tie. 2-0, but fighting, scrapping with every sinew that they have. Commendably. Here, just over pressing, missing the back line. Another point notched by Lane and Vendy. It's been a very intense doubles match, as anticipated. Nothing to go on coming into it, first meeting and all that. He's got radar this time, hasn't he? And she just yeah. so quick. Nice. 
Three points in a row for Jian So as they haul this one back to level. It's a very streaky kind of match, isn't it? Both teams going on runs of three points fairly regularly. Good return there for Ben Lane, the left-hander. To the Malaysians it is. They head to the mid-game interval with a one-point advantage. 11, 10 after 30 minutes of action, exactly. This one's still very much in the balance in the melting pot. It's very, very tight. And Malaysia winning the overall tie 2 0. Just they need this one for the tie victory. Good leave. He's not too sharp in the front court either, is he? So you can... Oh yes, yes, took his time nicely there, Aaron Chia. It was the sh penultimate shot in the rally that did the damage for the Malaysians. It was absolutely stunning. Watch this. Look at that from So. And then so spatially aware was Aaron Chia to stick the knife in.
good play. Terrific return off a perfect serve. Sean Bendy very alert there. He got plenty of purchase on that smash. <laughs> point this time going the way of the Malaysians. Just caught a glimpse of the young 16 year old uh, Van Leeuwen debutant in the English camp. from Ben Lane there. So really unleash the fury. 15-16. Must win game for the red team. Yeah, right into the left pocket of the left-hander. And as fast as he was backpedalling, he just ran out of time there. Terrific from the Malaysians. There's been so little in this men's doubles, it's been very high quality. Good pace overhead. Just missed the line, not by much. did in that opening game just looking so good in the crunch and I guess that's what happens when you've got a bronze medal to your name you, you realize that you are a performer you can do it and you just uh, can raise your game in those most important moments and that's what Chi and So have done throughout both these games here it's been super intense but so watchable that one spills long over the back line encouraging for the English find a way to twist this one and haul it back. Oh. 
Denied by the tape. 20. Match point. 18. Match point and tie point as well for the Malaysians. doubles Aaron Chia and Su Yik 24 and 23 year old respectively and uh, bronze medalists from Tokyo find a way through the men's doubles and win the tie for 3-0 for Malaysia a really surprising result but a really good one for them they'll be utterly relieved to have got the win under their belt and this was how they did it this was the match point and they were just marginally edgier than the to English lads Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. It was a well contested match, but in the end, the Malaysians just with the answers in the biggest of moments. And he was deadly today, wasn't he? Aaron Chia, take a bow. As was Su Yiki. Full of confidence after their in exploits in Japan. They come through in straight games 22 20, 21 18 after 39 minutes. Really watchable, really good badminton. So next up, it's uh, Salvadorai. Kisona Salvadorai in the women's singles from Malaysia who takes on Abigail Holden from England in the women's singles. So don't go too far, that'll be up next. And we'll just leave you with some highlights from the men's doubles. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Still plenty more to unfold. Two more matches for you. This tie is already concluded. Malaysia 3-0 winners over England, but we'll continue and we play all five matches, of course, in group stages until the end of Thursday. So uh, we get a glimpse of what's been going on. Here's our order of play to take you through.